So we've now got a rough location for one of our key objectives, which is that the leader of the rebels is all the way down near Teresa somewhere. See there, we've got our intel update. Tug is probably hiding near Teresa. Now, that kind of confused me initially because I was under the impression that everything would be inside the AO here. Like, it'd all be contained in this area, but we actually have to go all the way down here to find the guy. I suppose in a way that does make sense, because that means that you won't just accidentally complete the mission just by walking around. So, I suppose that's fine. But there are still a few things we can clear up down here. For example, we're pretty close to this house to search, which was right near where the priest got killed. So I'm just going to grab one of these hunters, and I'm going to go see what that house is all about. We'll take the one with the gun, because, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense not to. The house is only a kilometer off, so this shouldn't take long. Given that I drove past this previously, when I found the priest, it's probably just one guy inside again. Okay, here's the house. Our hunter's probably going to be able to see the target through the window if there is one in there. Oh, yep, there he is. Come on, shoot him. He's there. Open fire. Target the pilot. Three well, that took some persuading, didn't it? Let's take a look at what kind of contraband this guy was packing. 100 intel. And another building to secure. Well, all the way down here. I was about to say we're going door to door, but that's like cross country door to door there, isn't it? We apparently got another friendly off road here. That is definitely not a friendly off road. What did I just watch? Seriously, what the fuck was that? So, this off-road which was apparently friendly, because it was blue on the map, wasn't friendly, and the guy in the turret decided that he'd just chew up the doors a bit, you know, make the bumper go a bit rusty before he actually aimed at the guy in the turret. Okay, you know what I'm going to do as well? I'm going to actually interrogate every civilian I pass. Just because the more info we have, the more objectives we'll have pop up, so this will be... easier to get done. We'll have more to do. Alright, so that was a decent amount of intel between the two of them. We're now over 1,000 intel too. But we didn't actually get an objective from that, which is a bit annoying. And now it's night time. I think my next stop is probably going to be FOB Spartan. Just so that I can get my hunter surfaced. Since, you know, the engine's kind of knackered on it. Just going to make another slight detour since I've seen a uh, yeah, potential civilian over here. Hopefully it's a civilian and not some kind of patrol. Yeah, it's just another civilian. And a rock. So with the help of this guy, we should be able to make it morning again. There we go, plus 32 intel, and it's pretty much 7am, so it's nice and bright. Error, no vehicle gained two skill points. For doing what? Did an enemy somewhere on the map walk into a campfire or something? Anyways, they're not somewhere I can get my vehicle service to. Because there definitely was over the last base, right? Yeah, there's like a service area there. And everything was marked. That's not the case with the Spartan. 
Maybe it's one of these vehicles. Yeah, there we go. Repair it. Zamek repair. Oh, that's weird. It wasn't giving me the tooltip because it already repaired my car without me even trying to. Sure, not going to complain. Anyway, we need to head down to Nagard's here because we've got another house to go and ransack. Alright, once again, closing in on the target. It's a bigger house this time. Do you think there's maybe going to be more than one person in here? Enemy spot. I mean, he wasn't even inside the house that time. There he is, just down on the left. Contact medic. Okay, so there's actually plenty of people in here. Well, I say plenty. That's only the second one I've seen. Don't know for sure if that was the medic or not, though. This side, clear. The door seems alright. And across the room. Okay, we're good. Just the two people. Strangely enough, the mark is halfway up the stairs. There we go, such as. Intel plus 100. Arrest suspect. Okay. Uh, where's this? Ah, one of the question marks I marked was actually a weapon cache. So that's probably where we died. I'll leave that question mark there since that is a building. So a local who lives about three kilometers southwest from Abdera and drives a transport truck might be connected to the rebels. Okay, such as house, arrest him and bring him to the closest FOB if you find any connections. So Abdera's here. Man, 300 meters due east. Um, annoyingly enough, there's a bush there, so I can't actually see who did that. Ryan, report in. Over. Razor, report in. Over. What the fuck do you think the situation is, you muppet? He's hit. Look at all the bushes. This is the worst possible place for something like this to happen. It really is. Oh god, you know where I think this guy came from? We had the firefight here, when we were driving the, um, the humanitarian aid vehicle, and an AT guy and a rifleman ran off down the hill. If that's the same people coming back, then that is some really delayed revenge right there. I really don't like this. It could be around any one of these leaves. Nope, this building's clear. Oh, what if they moved up to where my hunter was? Just to, like, investigate what was going on and maybe see if they could find me as well. Alright, I'm gonna go inspect the bodies of my teammates. And if I don't find them, I'm just gonna leave. Just think as well, if I hadn't been sweeping that building, or if I had, like, not bothered to sweep it properly, that could have very easily been me and that hunter too. Alright, that's those bodies identified, I'm pretty sure. I think I got both of them. Our reputation's dropped under a thousand after those deaths. Right. Let's head up to FOB Naval then, since that's our closest, uh, safe location. I guess since we're in the area, there's no reason we can't stop in and see the president, right? Maybe we'll actually be allowed to talk with him this time. Or maybe he just doesn't exist. Oh, huh, that's weird. Did they, like, move him somewhere after that gunfight in the house nearby? Oh, well, I don't know wherever he is. I hope he's alive and, uh, not dead. Like, uh, you know, my entire team. Okay, a long bloody last. We've got FOB Neville. That's quite the hike. I'm surprised I didn't get shot off of a hill, to be honest. Well, let's see if they got a decent vehicle for me. I'll probably just take that off-road. Oh, actually. Actually, 
That's a good point. Since I've taken out the Tigris, is it safe to do, uh, like, a helicopter pickup? Okay, so pick up from, like, here. Will that work? I imagine they're taking off now, so I just want to wait for a bit to see if they get shot down. I don't imagine they will, because they'll fly, like, across here. And at the same time, I've taken out the anti-air, so... Or at least I hope I've taken out all the anti-air. There might be another machine gun somewhere or something. And here it is, a long last Venom. Are they sitting down over there? I hope they're not. I asked them to come over here. Oh no, there we go. Here they come. Alright. Get me the fuck out of here. And here we are back at Olympus. Oh, it's good to be um, out of that hellhole. Well, we've lost, what, like four troops now? Yeah, there's Ghost there. Nichols here. And then the other two in the Hunter exploded there. Can't read their names because they're overlapping. Alright, I think it's time to go pick up some new squad mates. And we should probably go have a look around Teresa and see what we can do about one of these main objectives we've picked up. That's some of my old team right there, isn't it? Why are they still in the off-road? Yeah, it won't actually let me get a lot of these people into my team. Probably because they're so far away. Let's see if I can recruit them over there. Yeah, it works now. Uh, let's get you. Alright then. We've got ourselves a nice big team back up. We've got Jackson Frost and O'Connor from before, and we have Snake, who's a machine gunner. Okay, so I think, given that we likely don't have a way to drop a vehicle, the smartest thing to do would be to drive down to Teresa. Even though it's what, like, how far away is that? Six kilometers, I suppose I've driven further. Okay, we're kind of running out of these hunters, but I don't see any better options at the moment. Oh, we don't have room in our car for Snake. Guess we get to leave him here then. Off the four of us go. And the main reason that I feel like it's necessary to bring a vehicle, rather than just getting dropped off by the helicopters, it's because there's no assurance that there's going to be any vehicles we can commandeer down there. And the target is near Teresa. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're in it. Okay, now under two kilometers out, and I'm starting to feel like this is likely the sort of perimeter we're looking at. So... Probably going to head straight into the middle of Teresa first. But I am sort of expecting, like, a, a large compound, rather than just a collection of broken houses, to be the thing I'm looking for. Okay, here we are in Teresa itself. I'm pretty sure that if the objective was in here, there'd be people on the streets. So I'm going to work on the assumption that the interior area of Teresa is safe. It's just the perimeter that we need to watch out for. Okay, I'm going to pull into this alleyway here, this like little gap between those two blocks of houses because I feel like it'll be a decent idea to make a bit of a, a plan from here. So I want to get question marks and put them on Basically every building, sort of, like, I'm going to go for this ring here, around this road. So question marks in every area that I think it might be. So obviously there's like the airfield stuff we need to look at. There's a compound of buildings there and here, which might be good to look for. Potentially in the middle of the forest. Could even be as far south as this. Okay, I think that'll be enough to go on to start with, and if it's not there, I can always mark it with, like, cross marks or whatever. 
All right, the hunt for the Messiah begins. All right, well, this little container village here doesn't seem to be anything of interest. Okay. So we'll replace these markers with the destroy markers, just because they're crosses. And I'll keep it this until I finally find the guy. Oh, there we go. I had my suspicions about the airfield. Oh, there's one right there. Alright. So the log guards around the perimeter here. I'm going to leave the hunter here to cover the open area. Who's on the gun? Oh, a medic. Uh, that's not good. Let's get the rest of the squad out and see if we can flush out anybody hiding. If this sends us on a wild goose chase of some sort, I'm going to be half entertained and half disappointed. Oh, that was him. The Messiah is K.I.N. Alright, can dump all these question marks, I guess. I'm gonna be honest, I was expecting a bit more than that for, like, one of the main objectives. Again, this is probably just because I've got a really high reputation. And this now makes me very tempted to do, like, a... a low reputation playthrough just to see how horrible it can be in comparison. Okay, well I guess now I just have to drive all the way back to Olympus. Okay, now that I'm back at base, I think I'm probably going to leave it there for today. I have been going at this a bit longer than usual, but this is still probably going to be a bit of a short one, just because there's been so much driving to do. So I think for my next objective, I'm going to do this arrest suspect thing. Because all of the objectives that I did leading up to this have kind of happened in a chain. For example, I've done... What was that, like two house searches? One house search triggered the other house search. The second house search triggered this task. And when there's a chain like this, it feels like it's probably a bit deliberate. Now, if there is here, and they're three kilometers, what was it, southwest? Is it maybe, like, around here? Wait, how, how big is one of these squares? I think one of these squares is a kilometer, maybe? So they'd be, like, around here? So if I was to put, like, question marks in each of these ones here. God, maybe it could even be, like, around here. Once again, I'm just dropping question marks everywhere. But still, I think that's gonna be... Oh god, yeah, that, that's probably a bit unrealistic all the way down here, but it'll be fine. I'll go through all of those next time and see if we can find out if there's another quest chained onto... Uh, Another quest, another task rather, chained onto these ones, which might, if it is deliberate like I think it is, lead us to the next main objective.